How's it going everybody? This is Gene here with Entropy and Sons back with another tutorial video for our synth, the Recursion Studio. This one's actually gonna be pretty quick. We're gonna just go over the internal LFO system. Uh, it's fairly straightforward and you should probably already be familiar with a handful of the concepts here. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, first of all, we have video plugged in, we have power and we have audio and that's all for this video. And as always, the synth has been updated to the most recent version of the software. So let's just get started. So first thing we're going to do, we're just going to go in here and load. Actually, yeah, let's just load this patch right here. We see that there is a lot of animation happening right now. Uh, a little bit of it's coming from the audio. The square patterns are coming from the audio, but all this motion is coming from the LFO system on the synth. So if we go into the create mode and hit shift, there's a little error there, so shift means there's more stuff. We're going to see LFO list as an option, which shows you that all of these parameters here in the synth are currently animated. This parameter A is going on a rose curve. This angle right here is going on a saw wave. You have a bunch of other ones going on, and just various other parameters too. There's the animation in the modulation system. Uh, yeah, so this is going to show you what's going on on these LFOs, you can actually tap on one of them to get in there and you can go in there and edit it. You can change its minimum maximum values, the type of LFO it is. Let's change it to step weight, see what happens. See now it's kind of stepping. You can change the rate. Now it's gonna go really fast. No, wait, other way around. See? It was actually pretty cool, pretty straightforward. To see exactly what's going on, you can just hit halt all you can see that now all of this animation has stopped oh except the one i don't know why that one didn't stop see now all the animation stopped except the stuff that's coming from the audio system let's go back and like load the init patch I'm actually going to go to so yeah let's actually let's do this uh let's take this width parameter you can tap on it right here and there is an option to create an lfo down here you could have also gone here by holding down the knob that controls the width parameter, getting the pop-up menu, and then going to the LFO page. It's gonna take you to the exact same place. And now it's gonna give us some options. We're gonna have a rate. So we'll just start it real quick just to see what we're working with. We're making that width parameter oscillate between the values of 0 0.2 and 0 0.5. We can change these if we like. We can make it be a saw wave. And yeah, we change the phase, you can change the timing. We put it in, make the timing take 1000 milliseconds, so one second. So we've just sped it up. Uh, yeah, like I said, this is actually pretty straightforward. Um, there's a additional button right here, create a mapping. Uh, we haven't yeah, uh, you, you tap on this and it fills in the default uh, information based on your LFO to create like a mapping so you can make a mini button turn on and off the LFO that you just created. And I think that might be it. Quickest video ever. All right, uh, stick around for the next video. Thanks for coming by, guys.